Hello, this is a virtual macroscopy slide taken from a case of fibrocystic change in the breast. And let's take a look at the components of fibrocystic change. This is a benign breast condition where there are cysts, as you can see here that I'm outlining. And some of these cysts can be seen grossly, either on imaging or in the gross pathology specimen, where they tend to have a bluish appearance. Hence, they may be referred to as blue domed cyst in the gross pathology specimen. The second component is stromal sclerosis, and this is seen in these pink areas of collagen within the stroma. This stromal sclerosis contributes to the firmness of these lesions on palpation. And there may also be areas of adenosis, as you can see here. And adenosis is defined as an increase in the number of SNI within a lobule. Let's take a look at each individual component and we'll start from adenosis since we are already in this field. So if we look at a regular lobule, for example, this one and this one, you will see a certain number of SNR structures or profiles. If we look in this area, it seems to have a little bit more of these SNR structures. And this is a benign finding. There's no significant architectural atypia or nuclear atypia. Uh, just a very uh, useful point to take note of is when you look at benign breast tissue, you will notice that the SNI as well as the ducts are lined by bilayered or double layered epithelium with the inner luminal layer and the outer myoepithelial layer. This is a very useful clue to appreciate that you are looking at benign breast parenchyma because usually in breast carcinoma, the lining of the malignant glands is a single layer lining. So over here are the areas of stromal sclerosis and this is essentially collagen and this contributes to the firm texture of the breast on palpation. And let's move on to look at the cysts. So here is an example of a cyst. And in most areas, the lining epithelium is still present. And this is still the same bilayered lining epithelium. You can just make out the luminal and the myoepithelial layer here. In some areas, the lining is denuded. And the cyst actually contains uh, several things. It contains these plump polygonal cells with very abundant cytoplasm. These are foamy macrophages. And they also contain um, this granular material with these interesting empty clefts. These are known as cholesterol clefts. There was actually lipid in these areas. However, the lipid got washed out during processing. So all we see left are the empty spaces. Let's take a look at another cyst. And here we can also see numerous cholesterol clefts within the lumen of the cyst. So in summary, this is an example of fibrocystic change in the breast. This is a benign condition as long as there is no significant atypical proliferation within the ducts or lobules. We have the cysts, we have the stromal sclerosis, and we have the focal areas of adenosis. Thank you.